Hey Joe, it's Folks here. In today's video, I'm going to be building upon the things that I talked about in this video here. Basically, I was making the case that Etsy is no longer a great place for beginners to get started with print on demand. I was basically making the argument that selling on your own store and using social media to make sales is going to be a better long-term strategy. This is something that I started doing on my own stores in 2016. I've also helped hundreds of people at this point to do it as well. In today's video, I wanna show you an awesome example of a great print on demand product with a high profit margin and two print-on-demand stores that are doing a great job selling it. During the video, we'll take a look at those stores, we'll break down their social media marketing, and I will show you a product sample of the actual product they are selling. We will also review the supplier that you can get it from. If you want to see some of the other print-on-demand products that I've reviewed, make sure to check out some of my other videos, and if you need help actually building out your store, make sure to check out my course. It is completely free. There's a link down in the description, and inside, you're going and get access to over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you how to actually build out your store. This here is one of the ads that this store is running. And honestly, this is a perfect example of what I talk about all the time. This print-on-demand store owner is owning their business. They have ordered a product sample of one of their items and they've created a very simple video to promote it. On their website, they've mentioned making over 17,000 sales and ultimately this is why I think they are doing so well. They have great ads. People from social media are clicking them coming to the store and buying their products. All they've done, like I said, is order a sample. They've gone outside. They've shot some footage of it. They have some nice close-ups. And that is what I talk about all the time, owning your business. In today's video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what they're actually doing with this video ad and ultimately how they are doing so well with it. So this here is the item that we are going to be taking a look at today. It is a print-on-demand woven blanket. The print-on-demand company that sells this basically reached out to me and told me to send them a high resolution photo of myself so they could send me a sample of their newest item. What I got back was this lovely blanket here with yours truly right on it. As you can tell, the print definition is very nice. Basically, any design I believe that you try to print on this, I think is going to come out looking very good. Around the edge here, we have this nice fringe. It basically changes color as you go around. You can see the bottom here is a black color along with some white mixed in as well. As you go around the sides, it changes color and then all all the way up here at the top, it turns black and white again. And ultimately, like I said, I think the print quality on this is definitely very nice. In terms of the thickness of the blanket, obviously I can't really showcase that too well on video here, but it does feel relatively thick. It's definitely not something that I would describe as thin. In my life, I have handled a few blankets like this that were obviously not print on demand, and this one here does feel pretty comparable. Like I said, in today's video, we're taking a look at two different stores. We have this one here. It is called Relay relatablebasic.com. We also have this one here called frankieprintco.com. They both are selling this print-on-demand blanket that we are taking a look at. They're doing a little bit different things with the designs, even their niches as well are also quite different. This store also has pillows as well. One of the things that I think is really cool about these stores is that they are selling the product at a very great price point. This store has them at $109, and this one here has them from $79 up to $99. This one over here is even priced at $100. 159 likely because it is a personalized design. Both stores are relatively simple. We have a very simple header image up at the top showing the actual product. Same thing on this store here. When you land on the homepage, you see a nice banner showing one of their designs. In terms of niches, this store is doing a lot of really interesting things. As we scroll through, we see everything from music to retro and vintage to astrology, which does seem to be mainly their best seller based on some of the ads that they are running. If I scroll through here, we're seeing that the designs are in fact personalized you can put your name on it. You can also just choose a non-personalized one too for the actual zodiac sign that you have. This store here allows you to browse by recipient. You can see that they have them for moms, dads, and parents. They also have them for weddings and for teachers. You can also shop by occasion. They have some Halloween stuff on here. As I am making this video, we are in January, which means that Halloween and Christmas has already passed. They also have some wedding and anniversary stuff as well. Both stores are showing a fair bit of actual social proof. You can see this store here has over 5,300 reviews. As you click through them, they are all photo reviews, basically different ways that they are repurposing this social proof on their store here would be here in this review section. They're also posting a lot of this stuff on their social media page as well. This store here mentions that they are trusted by over 17,000 customers across the United States. They also have a link on their store where you can go to the Judge Me website, which is basically a review site where you can view a ton of different reviews. They have a 4.9 rating out of 
out of 1195 reviews, which is a great sign that they are likely selling a lot of print on demand items. One thing I really like about both of these stores is they are very simple. Now, obviously here, this store has a lot of photos that are not actual mock-ups. These appear to be real photos that the store owner has actually taken. Some of them do seem quite similar, like this one here and this one here. So maybe they do have some unique mock-ups to actually show this, but they definitely do on their social media have a lot of real photos. Basically what I'm saying is maybe some of these are mock-ups. I'm not entirely sure. They do look like real photos though, but either way, they've done a great job at having a cohesive strategy with their images to make sure that things seem uniform. This store likewise is also very simple. You can see that they have a very simple homepage. They have a collection here. As you continue to scroll, you can see some pillows as well. They have a little bit of a bio section here talking about the store. As you scroll down, there's some reviews and then the store wraps up. My point in breaking this down and showing you these different sections here is again to reiterate that you can build a simple store. You don't need to build a fancy store that has lots of different fancy features. Ultimately, you just need to have a great concept, which is blankets and some great niches and some designs, which both of these stores clearly have. Now they do have a couple of different size options here. You can see they have a 52 by 37, a 50 by 60 and a 60 by 80. Each size also sells for a different price. Their smallest size sells for $109. This is the store here that says they have over 17,000 sales, which likely means they are making a lot of revenue if they are selling the product at a minimum of $109. This store is also on TikTok, which is something that I've been working on. I will have some training coming on this soon. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more TikTok content. But what they've basically done here is they have created an account showcasing their items. As we scroll through and we see all these different videos here, occasionally it appears like the store owner is on camera showcasing the actual items, but there's a lot of other ones that are literally just the actual product. Ultimately, they've got a sample and they've been creating TikTok showcasing the item. They kind of do the same thing here on their Instagram page. You can see they have 23,000 followers. They have a very simple bio setup showcasing what they do. Here in the highlights section, they have some reviews and some product photos as well. As we scroll through, you can see that they are just basically showcasing their product. They do create a couple of promotional images, stuff like this here, as well as this one up here, which I thought was kind of interesting. They actually started an affiliate program, which is something I talk about a lot in my print on demand training. As a print on demand store owner, if you're selling on social media, you should not only be growing your own pages and running ads, but you should also try to partner with others to help them to grow your brand. And that's exactly what they've done here. They're offering 10% commissions to people who want to join their affiliate program and promote their item for them. Here on Facebook, they have just 2000 followers. And again, as you scroll through, they're talking about the affiliate program. They're also posting different product photos of their items. They are also running a lot of ads on both Facebook and on Instagram. One way that we can actually spy on the ads that this store is running is by clicking the about button right here. Once you click the about button, you're then going to want to click on page transparency. From there, you will see that this page is currently running ads. If you click the see all button, this page here will open up. And if you click on go to ads library, you will actually be able to view all of the ads that this store is running. When it opens up here, you can literally scroll through and you can look at all of the ads that this store has on. So if you're trying to do research and you're trying to figure out like what types of ads you should run, something like this is a great resource for you. It'll show you the platforms that the ad is running on. You can see they have this one on Facebook and Instagram. One thing that I thought was really interesting is that this ad actually started running on November 10th, 2023. As I am making this video, we are in the middle, almost in the end of January. And this ad here down below has been running for almost a year now, which likely means they are making daily sales on these items. If we continue to scroll down, they have an ad that has been running since December of 2022. That tells me that they are a very profitable store. If they can leave an ad on for over a year, obviously if an ad is not doing well, it would be something that would need to be turned off. And this ad basically looks very similar to the one that I showed you earlier. It's just a sample of their item. They're holding it up. They're basically filming it, showing some close-ups as well. They have a very simple ad copy in the ad as well. And ultimately stuff like this is very easy to create. Down in the description of this video, I have a link to my free course. Inside, you will see some training videos to help you to get started running ads on both Facebook and on Instagram. Like I said before, this is a very high quality printed item. It also feels pretty thick and durable as well. You can get it from a print on demand supplier called Shine On. They call this the heirloom woven blanket. They actually only charge, if I scroll down here, they charge $31 for this item. So ultimately there's a decent amount of 
of profit here. The couple of stores that we looked at today, like this one here, for example, like I said, they are selling their small size for $109. If we go to this store here, we scroll down to one of their designs, you can see that their 50 by 60 is being sold for $99. So again, if you are using Shine On to actually fulfill this item, there's a decent amount of profit actually there. Here on the Shine On page, they give some references here in terms of what your design size should be. Honestly, this is just a square blanket, so the design should be relatively simple for you to create. They do also have a template in here that you can download to actually create your design. Once you publish it as well, Shine On has a little bit of a description here for you that can auto-populate into your store. There's also some images showing the diagram of the actual product in terms of sizing. They also have a mock-up here as well for you to use in your description. As I was making this video, I also found this store here. It's called PoochPrints.com. They're basically taking photos of customers' dogs and they're putting them on this blanket. They're selling this product for $89.99. It is the 50 by 60 version. And ultimately, this is a really cool concept for this type of product. It seems like this store is just sort of getting going. They have 55 reviews here on the site, everything from donkeys to dogs and cats as well. I also found this Etsy listing here. This is like a national park adventure type of thing here. And ultimately, this is a really cool example as well. This one does come in a couple of different sizes, just like those other stores that we looked at. The price points are also pretty similar as well with the 50 by 60 inch starting at $99. Even though I don't love Etsy for selling print on demand items, I do think it is a good thing to use to actually research. I came here on Etsy, I typed in woven blanket. If this is a product that you may want to sell, you could use Etsy to actually get some ideas for design concepts and even niches to actually sell to. This store here is called strikegently.co. They also have an extensive collection of these woven blankets as well. Some of their designs seem to be a little bit artsy, a little bit abstract, and ultimately some of them don't really represent specific niches, but I do think the designs that they have on here are high quality and something like this as well could be used for research purposes if you did want to sell this item. Ultimately though, I wanted to show you this product today in a couple of stores to show you how you can build a store based around one product. You don't need to add dozens of different product types to your store and create dozens and dozens of designs for all of them. You can build a store that does one specific thing very well and I hope today was an example of that with this item here. Let me know down in the comments if this is something you may try to sell. If so, what types of things might you try to sell it for? And then also if it's something that you would avoid, let me know why. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.